got two HP pavilions here. One sometimes has no video. The other one always has no video. And what I did is I put a card in, the PCI slot, and the video works totally solid. Sister machine taken apart. And what I found was the video here didn't work. And this port coming out of here on the video would be intermittent and you'd boot it up, it'd act like the power supply's dead. You couldn't get into the BIOS, sometimes you could get in. Everything was acting totally screwy. And here I've got uh, the unit running with the, what it came installed four years ago, which was Vista Home Premium. But anyways, at first I thought there was something wrong with my monitor. Chain tried two several different monitors. It's not anything wrong with the connector, but the uh, graphics on this machine is flaky and intermittent. So what I did is I went through intermittent. I went through and got another video card. This is from a 1996 uh, IBM. Put this in in the PCI slot and lo and behold all the video problems went away. So then I went ahead and put a better card. This is a 32 meg card. It's the wrong card. That's why it's too tall. But if you put a VC, uh, PCI card in here or a PCI Express card what it does is evidently in the BIOS it automatically will use one of these cards instead of the built-in and then all the problems I had went away so here I've got a HP 3700F pavilion and I've got it all taken apart but I was going to throw it in the trash and then lo and behold I found out by putting a video card in here that all its weirdness went away and the characteristics I had were that the machine either acted like it didn't want to boot or if it did you'd get up into uh, a screen and it would go through and drop the screen I wasn't using this for anything uh, intensive this was just getting on the web and stuff like this no gaming or anything but it would act sometimes with the power one off you turn it back on it act like it was dumb as a stump and but I got no beeping or anything and so after a while I had people tell me it was the power supply I had people tell me it was the hard drive and what I tried to do is I tried to boot this into Ubuntu and it wouldn't even do that so then I said okay something's really weird so I went off and uh, put a video card in here this is a uh, PCI card which is higher than no uh, this is an old type what you need is a short card to fit in this machine or a shorter PCI Express and then then you're good to go but evidently this is a known problem about HP pavilion swim line slim line machines uh, that there's a video problem and I've been running this for several weeks now like this and putting a card here evidently goes through and bypasses the built-in built graphics. I didn't even have to go into the BIOS any of this. It automatically, by putting a card in here, and it automatically sense I've got this card and says, hey, I want to go ahead and use this card. I didn't have to do any frogging around, but uh, that's what I've done here to resurrect this old uh, pavilion from four years ago. And it seems to work flawlessly. So that's what I did. And then I've got uh, Vista working here again, which I don't really like, but it's all paid for. So evidently this is a, a known problem where you've got graphics uh, that don't tend to work or something, or it's flaky. And what would happen for me is I'd come back and the power had been off, and then I'd boot this computer. The light would come on here like it's booting and uh, there would be no video. And then I'd turn it off, turn it back on again, and after three or four or five boots, uh, I would finally get it into a screen. It would boot up. And so I had people tell me it was a power supply. And what I did is I rigged up another supply in here. Uh, this is a mini a micro ATX. And uh, with the smaller connector, that didn't seem to do it. Then I said, what the heck, I'll go ahead and pull the hard drive, pull out everything, put an Ubuntu disk, and burn it in the Linux. It wouldn't even uh, do that. It couldn't even get into the BIOS most of the time. So then I said I got a problem with the graphics. Put another graphics card in there, and lo and behold, boom, everything works flawlessly. 
And just to prove this out, you could take any graphics card. This is a card from 1996 I put in there. It's from an old uh, Pentium Pro machine. Put that in there, boom, was up. Resolution was kind of low, but at least I got in and everything worked flawlessly. So, anyways, that's the pen. This is a HP Pavilion Slimline S3700F that uh, I've resurrected just by putting a graphics card. I'm going to go ahead and get a shorter card in here so it'll go ahead and lock in the properly and close the case back on. But I've got all this apart because I've just about ready to throw the whole thing apart. And just as a lark, I tried a graphics card and boom, everything is fixed. The motherboard in this is a Mary 2 Norway 61AR. M2N61AR. That's the one with the bad video. It's got two slots down in here. Right now it's got three gigs of RAM. It's got a PCI slot, PCI Express slot, got the processor. This is on an HP Pavilion 3700F. And this is a Hitachi Data Star 320 gig hard drive built in November 2008. I bought this unit. I believe in January 2009. Okay, here's what the uh, built-in graphics are. NVIDIA GeForce 6150 SE graphics. Uh, this has got an Athlon X2 5000 dual-core processor. It's got 3 gigs of RAM. That's because this is only a 32-bit machine. or It's a 32-bit home premium Vista. The same type of box they marketed with a better version came with four gigs. This is a slot they had on here to put some type of uh, HP uh, drive that plugged into I believe a firewire way in the back. But the symptoms on this thing are the built-in graphics would you'd come on you'd see the light that's on and then whether you have a monitor or a CRT or something like that it would like sometimes act like it's wanting to boot or not boot. I'd get the light on here, but what was happening is just like the monitor wasn't connected up. Or I'd get just a little bit of flash would let me believe it's like having a hard time booting. But turns out all along it's been the video's been going bad slowly.